Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah a tawheed a khalis a tawheed a khalis Tawheed al fillah Sincerity and pure Tawheed Purely worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Without any Associating any partners to Him So that requires ilm It requires ilm and nafia It requires knowing and understanding what Tawheed is What shirk is So that way you don't negate your own deeds You don't fall into Deception and corruption in your Aqeedah. Because that's the ghaya of creation. That's the purpose we we're created for. It's the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fi kitabihi al kareem. Wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa al insa li ya'budun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al kareem. I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So if that is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or with that being the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us know that everything else in our deen and dunya should fall under that. Meaning that whatever we pursue in this life should not yukhalif hadha ghaya. Whatever we do in this life, whatever we uh, seek and, and strive to attain and pleasures that we uh, seek to attain should not go against that Tawheed al-Khalis. It should not go against the purpose of creation, which is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That, can not, that can't be stressed enough, ahabatifillah. We know this. All of us know that that's the purpose of creation, of why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. But do we really stay cognizant of that? Do we really keep that in mind and sincerely make all of our ibadah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's a question for myself and my brothers and sisters and why I like reminding my brothers and sisters because it reminds me. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ikhlas, with sabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.